Are you proud of him? Oh, yeah. Trish Dawson knew something was wrong. She hadn't heard from her husband in too long. Jeff Dawson was injured in Afghanistan and nearly lost his life. Now he's fighting to overcome his injuries. And news reporter Bobby Lewis is on the road in Tampa where a soldier plans to recover and hopes our iconic bridge can help him do it. Pain is now part of Jeff Dawson's daily routine. No, this sucks. A reminder, he's still alive. When we were dating, he used to make a joke that he had the safest job in the military. And I didn't realize until later on, I'm like, you lied. Through my chest, I uh, fractured my clavicle, my second and third rib. A gunshot wound left him millimeters from death. Spinal shock. And miles and, uh, from normal. Mainly I'm just focused on uh, getting back to where I, I want to be. He's made incredible progress, doing really, really well. Jeff spends nearly every day at the James A. Haley VA. So I'm going to give him a little resistance. Working with therapists with a big goal in mind. I mean, I might not finish it with the allotted time but I'm walking that bridge. The Skyway Bridge awaits Jeff. He'll try to cross it on March 1st in the Skyway 10K, a goal he knows is a long shot. I think that if I can get to the top of it, I won't have any issues getting to the bottom of it. It's probably gonna take me a little bit longer to get down, but it's worth trying. Absolutely. It's definitely a big goal. It's not It's not a common goal that patients in his situation set for themselves, but he's He's gonna do it. I'm amazed to be honest with you. It's It's been incredible. I mean, I think it's incredible what the what the human body is capable of the once slumping soldier Started by standing then striding take a breather each step a new milestone those trials that you go through end up making you The person you are and you grow you grow a substantial amount from it. Sometimes you're gonna fail. You know, you're not gonna reach, reach the goals uh, that you set for yourself, but that's not, it's not a reason to give up or quit trying. Just attempting the 6.2 miles on the Skyway will mark a major accomplishment. It is. From a soldier yeah, he's been who really won't give up. Setting his goals through everything and then meeting those goals and then exceeding him. I mean, I think he's kind of blown everybody out of the water with his progression and how fast it's been. Don't you love how the physical therapist said most patients don't do this? He's he's not most patients. No, he's not, not most people at all. He's the reason that we're supporting this race and yeah. why we're going to be out there March 1st. And why we love it so much. Yeah. These are oh the best stories. Gosh, he's one of many. Yeah, Jeff was shot in Afghanistan on July 20th of 2019. This was not that long ago. He was flown to Germany before surgery for surgery before returning here to the States. He's been doing his physical therapy in Tampa since September. So to test himself before the Skyway 10K, Jeff is going to attempt a 5K this Saturday at McDill. He hopes to one day try rowing and maybe even golf. Yeah, not even going to be out there doing that. <laughs> yeah. Right now, you can text the word Skyway to 727-577-8550. And we'll send you some tips to help you get ready to run the Skyway. And even if you're not running, there's really good info in there to stick to your New Year's resolution. 10 News is a proud sponsor of the Skyway 10K. And the morning of March 1st, you can watch all the live action right here on 10 News starting at 7 a.m. We'll be looking for Jeff out there on the race route.